many ways to follow what's happening here at St Jakob's Halle in uh, Basel. As you can see, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. But the best way to follow what's happening is to come on down because there's so much to do as well as the wonderful badminton. There's fan areas. There's uh, such a good atmosphere with so many fans coming here. There's places to eat. There's places to meet the top players. And of course, this is the view when you come into the main arena, which is so many good badminton matches. We have really seen some upsets today. Upsets over the last couple of days. Number one seed's gone in the men's doubles. Number one seed in the women's singles went yesterday. It's all been happening. Well, our next match uh, features the Olympic champions, uh, Mizaki Matsutomo and Ayaka Takahashi up against the pair from Australia, Mapasa and uh, Somerville. And as far as Mapasa and Somerville are concerned, uh, they have won the Oceania Championships three consecutive times. Now this from the bottom half of the draw, uh, but the higher section in the bottom half of the draw from the match we've just watched. And as you can see, the seeded pair that Steam was talking about earlier, the Chinese combination, the number seven seeds, Du Yue and Li Hinhui, safely through to the third round. And so too, the 13 seeds, Chao Mei Kwan and Li Ming Yen of Malaysia. So Mapasa and Somerville, they've been in 14 finals, 11 career titles, three of them, as I say, at the Oceana Championships. For Matsumoto and Takahashi, well, those are big numbers, aren't they? 48 career finals, winning 26 career titles together. And of course, the biggest of them all, the Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. Three years ago, was it really three years ago? My goodness, doesn't time fly? Seventh consecutive World Championships for the Japanese pair. Seventh consecutive time that they've been seeded at the World Championships. Okay, here we go. Red and black. Call for. Red. Black. Receive. Ayaka receive. Very surprising. Japanese Which pair side? won the toss, chose to receive. Side? Which side? There's our mascot. It's rock and cute, this side? isn't he? You serve. So it means that the Australian pair get to choose ends and get to serve first. Left and right-handed combination, the Australians. And the left-hander, Sadiana Mapasa, born in Manado, in the north of North Sulawesi. Turned 24 exactly six days ago, last Thursday. Belated happy birthday to her. She and her partner currently 36 in the world ranking, but as you can see, have been as high as 18. That was in February, two years ago. Her partner, Gronya Somerville, 24 years of age, born in Colton in Melbourne, Victoria. British mother, Chinese father, and they do make a very good combination because they've won two titles this year, not only the their third consecutive Oceana Championships, but also the Canadian Super 100 event. And it was uh, Canadians who they beat in the first round, Honderich and Sai, who were gold medalists at this year's Pan Am Games in Lima. So to Mizaki Matsutomo, 27 years of age, born in Aizumi in Tokushima on Shikoku Island in southern Japan. 
She and her partner, not only reigning Olympic champions, but former world number ones, a total of 127 weeks. Four different spells have been world number Great ones. Discipline. Ayaka Takahashi, a couple of years older than her partner, 29 years of age, from Kashihara City in Nara Prefecture in South Honshu, the main island of Honshu. Seventh consecutive world championship, seventh consecutive time seeded as we look at our court officials for this one. But perhaps the surprising statistic for the Japanese pair is that they've only ever medalled once, and that was two years ago when the number one seeds in Glasgow lost out to the eventual champions Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yi Fun. But up until 2017, they'd been in four world championships and been the number one seed in one of them and twice the number three seed. And they'd never got beyond the last 16. So Matsutomo and Takahashi, whilst they are Olympic champions, do not have the best of records in world championships. That's I'm ready. probably a little harsh, is it, Steen? But when somebody's been, a pair has been world number ones for 127 weeks Ladies in total, and won the Olympic <laughs> Games, <laughs> yeah. you sort of Ayaka expect Takahashi them to have more than one world Misaki championship Matsutomo, medal. Yeah. Japan. And on the left, So the left and right Australian combination of Somerville and Mapasa nearest to us against the Olympic champions. Service over. Was a wonderful love. result of, by this Australian pair winning the Canadian Open, wasn't it, Steam? Because they uh, beat Chang Yena and Kim Hai Rin. That was a result that made me double check that it was actually the correct result because it was a big surprise, in my opinion. And, um, great win for someone um, passed One up. off. Service over, two, one. Very early. Four, one. Matsutomo. No doubt the Japanese pair, they've also seen that result from uh, Canada Open and uh, sort of warned them that um, they're not to take this um, task lightly because then they might get in trouble. On the other hand, I think if they uh, play at the normal level, they are a huge favorite to take this match. Five, one. Service yeah. over. Well Two, from five. From your Somerville. So we're in action uh, yesterday in mixed doubles with uh, Simon Leon in the first round match against the Russian pair. Service over. That, uh, Six. Two. Her strength mainly is on the uh, rear part of the court. But, uh, good idea to play mixed doubles to get some. Exposure to front court play as well. Seven, two. And talking of mixed doubles, the lady about to serve, Mizaki Matsutomo, played mixed doubles earlier and she lost that match with Yuki Kanako against the bronze medalist from last year, Tang Chung Man and Si Ying Sui of Hong Kong. 
Oh, that's a clever play by uh, Matt Tomo. Eight, two. Doubles earlier today, so yeah. Both players on opposing side of the net that play mixed doubles will be absolutely desperate to win this match, keep their interest in the world championships. Interest, I should say, participation. Medal hopes alive. Yeah. Service over, nine, three. Mm. Service over, four, nine. That's usually we think of Matsutomo as the one yeah. who struggles on the low serve that time, Takahashi. But it's, it's tough playing with a partner who struggles on the low serve and eventually, I mean, of course, Takahashi, she's held out well, but eventually you might struggle yourself because the pressure simply becomes um, too high. You know that you have to serve well in order to uh, make it easier to win the match. Service over. Ten, four. Japanese pair looking a class above, in all honesty, at the moment, yeah. Steen. Yeah. Indicated also by their last encounter in the New Zealand Open, when the scoreline was ten and seven. Yeah. And just 28 minutes for that last encounter. That's well played. First good movement side ways by Gronja Samovil and then Service great follow-up by uh, Sichana Mapasa. Five, ten. Great brush off the top of the tape there. Normally very difficult to keep that shut straight. Most players go for the uh, cross. That's a missed opportunity. She doesn't miss Seven, many of those. So a four-point advantage at the mid-game interval for the reigning Olympic champions. Number two on the world ranking, but seeded three. Japanese parent, just to explain that, how that's happened, because the seeding was done prior to Matsutomo and Takahashi going back up to number two in the world ranking. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. <laughs> 11, seven. Play.
No, she doesn't want to change it. Blake. It was the Australian pair had asked for the shuttle to be changed. <laughs> Taken, my goodness. I think Nazaki Matsutomo is looking very sharp, Steen. Ginge. Yeah, you would think that these 13, um, seven. playing conditions would suit her well, not a whole lot of drift. Yeah, but a whole body language as well. She's really fired up for this. She wants to get on with it straight away. Hunting the shuttle. I think it was the very 14, first rally of the match. Seven. She found a big gap, didn't she? And I said she'd taken it early and seen the gap early. Playing well. Oh, yes. That time. It was Takahashi that finished it 15, off. 7. A little bit the same pattern as the match we saw between Bolotowa and Obletowa against um, Fukushima and Hirota. 11-7 at the interval and then uh, tightening of the grip Yeah. by the favourites. Yeah, good point. Very similar. Sixteen seven. Oh, the placement of the smash from Somerville forced the weak return. Eight, Sixteen. towards the right hip of Takahashi. Servisor, 17-9. Was dangerous, very dangerous by the left hander playing the cross court net shot nine. from so low down. The question is taking that there. In fact, she seemed to let it drop even more. Right. <laughs> Nine. Two points away from the opening game. Service over. 
10, 19. Meters away 19. from being a perfect shot. And far away service from being an ace. 20, game point 11. And it goes down as a service error. Game point opportunities for the Olympic champions. Game. Yeah, first time of asking. First game. 21 in 11. Mizaki to Mizaki and Matsutomo Ayakata and Ayaka Takahashi. 11. 15 minutes for the opening game. This is the final rally of that opening game. It's a nice idea from Somerville. Going for the angled shots, half smash or fast drop, whichever way you want to call it. Silver medalist Matsutomo at the World Good Junior one, Championships seconds. in girls' singles. Good one, 20 seconds. That was in Guadalajara in 2010. Yeah, I think she did play a couple of senior tournaments as a singles player, didn't she? Second game. Yeah, she was actually she uh, reached the final player. of the uh, uh, Belgium International Series. Yeah. You next month again. Ah. Lupasa, also uh, a team One World block. Junior Bronze, right? Sachana Mapasa from um, for, for Indonesia. For Indonesia back then, and I think that must have kept them out of the um, Rio Olympics because. There was no Oceania uh, participant in the women's doubles, and I think that's because she um, hadn't uh, had that quarantine period. Um, that's a great expression, quarantine yeah. period. <laughs> well, you, you cannot switch country yeah. freely and just say from uh, one day to another, now I want to represent another country at the Olympics. So I guess that's the big goal this um, season here to uh, qualify for Australia there. Service over, one off. Looking uh, quite certain to take that Oceania Up. qualifying spot in uh, in women's doubles. You are yeah. Mapsa. Leon. Leon. It's all good. She don't want to change. Well, that's unusual, isn't it? Yeah. Normally, if the server is happy to change the shuttle, it's usually allowed by the umpire. Yeah. So now 
hearts broke after a serve and a netted uh, return. <laughs> makes no sense, in my no. opinion, and I think you no. should look a little bit about that and say, okay, only the server can change the shuttle, and they can change it whenever they want it, as long as they do it immediately, so we save time again. We saw some statistics for... Um, Monsters, the men's singles final in Indonesia opened it was like 25% um, efficient playing time out of um, an hour and uh, 30 minutes. So we saw three, two. Talking of Somerville and Mapasa, probably getting the Oceana spot in the uh, Olympics next year. We have to go back 14 years, don't we, in World Championships to the only players from Oceana ever to so win a medal at yes. World Championships in Anaheim. That's 2005, right. Daniel Shirley and Sarah Runston Pedersen. That was, um, it was an interesting World Championship that year since Four. the only gold medal Four. won by non Asian European pair of player was in men's doubles with Howard Bach and. Uh, Tony Gunnarland representing USA, the former Indonesian. So yeah. There's another one who uh, changed country. And, uh, yeah, good point. I guess uh, Daniel Howard Sorry, Buck so being of uh, Vietnamese descent, I guess Howard Buck is, uh, um, Daniel Shirley is the only non European Born and bred. Yeah, to win a uh, medal. So it's for call, too high. Oh, service service fault called. Five, four. Above the 1.15 meter mark. Six, four. Fantastic Goodness. rally. Brilliant. Service over. Look at the commitment going forward there from Matsutomo. And look how she was smiling <laughs> even during the rally before her partner made an error. That's when you played with your partner so long that you know she's not going to make that <laughs> shot. <laughs> oh, I'll go. That's the perfect placement. Service over. Nine, five. Perfect placement specifically for a left right handed combination or in general? Yeah, or just in that situation? Just in that situation, no one yeah. went for it. Yeah. Now, it, it depends a little bit, I think. If, if both are here, it would probably be a little bit towards um, Sachana Mapasa since it seems like Gwanya Solo is doing the most of the backcourt play. Six, nine. So it depends on the um, skills and the roles of the opponents. 
The reason I ask, Dean, is because I know you and I have discussed on numerous occasions when the Danes were still playing, yeah. Pedersen and Yule, that how often did they get caught with the clear down the middle? Too Le often. Too often, yeah. exactly. A left and right-handed combination. Yeah. That's why I asked the question. And, um, if we're going to see Rahayu and uh, Gracia Poli later on in this tournament, we can see that it has to be really close to Gracia Poli before she takes it. Otherwise, it's uh, you know, Rahayu so because she's the better mover of the two and the backcourt player. Yeah, but they're not a left and right-handed combination. No, right? they are not. No. Not unless one of them has practiced really hard <laughs> since I saw them last time. Your service. Now, we shouldn't laugh because I did actually see Gracia Polly once in a match trying to play a couple of shots left-handed yeah. because she dived and badly Hit. damaged her, her right shoulder. And she desperately wanted 11, to finish the match and a couple of times tried playing left-handed. Wasn't at all bad. But this is looking very comfortable right now for the reigning Olympic champions again. And 11-6 up. strapping Board support one. on the right seconds. ankle of Gronje Somerville. 20 seconds. Okay, Steve, tell me. We didn't hear any coaching there. So what would you have said to the Australian pair 11, right six. now? Because it, it's very much Blake. going the Olympic champions way at the moment. Yeah, it depends a little bit what their um, pre-game plan was. I think even though it's a world championship, I think they've got to focus on um, on performance rather than results. So um, I would ask them to play as close to a normal game as possible. And then, uh, of course, point out that um, when um, Takahashi is um, at the net, it's, it's an advantage to, to play the drop shots and downward shots to Takahashi because she's not really uh, doing that much on uh, those shots. Everybody knows that um, Matsutomo, it's an advantage to have her on the backcourt, but she's working really well on the backcourt and she can easily match um, both Mapasa and, and Gronja Somerville from the backcourt, so there's really not so much they can do in, in terms of that, so um, I Sorry, probably so wouldn't say it this way, but, but in, enjoy it and, and take the good sparring and good practice Seven, uh, with five. you because I don't think they have a chance of winning this match. Mm. Perhaps trying to to uh, point out a few uh, uh, possible combinations for uh, for scoring points. What do you mean by that? Set plays. Yeah, set plays. For instance, like here, Draw. where we see um, a passer on the backcourt targeting the inner side of the cross player, because there's a big chance that it will go uh, back to the forehand of um, of Gronje Somerville. But it's difficult when you, it's even difficult when you play the same level of position, when you play positions that are better than you and have more possibilities, then it's even more difficult. There, where Matsutomo just flicked that uh, defense on cross and, and normal, normal um, super hundred, super three hundred level players, they they don't just cross a good smash like that. Good chance she's yeah. taking there. Yeah. 
I like that. I, I, I want um, the players in women's doubles to come forward, to lift flat and come forward and look for the opportunities in a flat game. Pretty much counter-attacking style. This is a good rally. This got, seems to have a good read of the game, um, Sir Chalama Pasa. She was from Manado. Yeah. Right? Isn't that um, Liana Nassir's um, Absolutely. hometown as well? That explains everything. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oi. Yeah. Uh, it was the punch clear <laughs> from Matsutomo that did the damage. 14, 9. I suspect that might be the longest run of the match so far. Blade. Yeah, she just got caught off balance, the left-hander, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. it was the longest run. Look at that, 56. Good shot. I think I would like to change my answer to that Service coaching uh, situation. <laughs> because, I mean... After thinking about it, you don't win the Canadian Open by saying, hey, there's a good pair playing on the other side, we probably can't beat them. That's probably not good enough. I have to come up with something better. Mm, interesting. Magnificent. Service over. Lovely, lovely change 15, of pace. 10. You could say, much like um, Chen Ching Chen and Jia Yufan, it's about getting the left hand activated on the front court because she's the most dangerous of the two players. Whereas Gronya Somerville is um, not really scoring a whole lot of points, but she's um, she's solid. In her game. 16, 10. 17-10. She overdid it a little bit. But what a fantastic shot that was. Yeah, lovely idea. You know, Steen, I have to say before this match finish, finishes, I really, really liked your honesty just now with you saying, no, I wasn't good enough. No, that's probably too defensive um, yeah. a, um, an attitude. 19, 10. Great technical skills from the passer. Fantastic touch. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Perfect. 12, 19. Very acute angle. Well. This match has been in duration, 33 minutes, service error there. So gifting so match point 20, opportunities, but it does mean point that 12. in their third meeting, it's now the longest match between these two pairs. Yeah, that's nice too, wasn't it? Yeah, she's got some really good angles on her shots. Uh, 
ันนะครับ But the Olympic champions convert on their first match point opportunity. 21-11, 21-12 for the number three seeds, Mizaki Matsutomo and Ayaka Takahashi. Congratulations. Match won by Ayaka Takahashi and Mizaki Matsumoto. I suspect that the match time will be rounded up to 34 minutes. And indeed it has. Their confirmation of the scoreline, 21-11. 21-12 in favour of Matsutomo and Takahashi. So they take leave of centre stage. This is the final rally of the match. She was going for a lovely angle again, Mapasa. And certainly, if they could become a little more consistent, it would be very exciting times for Mapasa and Somerville in World Babington. Look, she's even smiling as she's having to lunge forwards in case that shuttle came over. Maybe she realised it wasn't coming over. Very smiley, Mizaki Matsutomo. So, their victory assured, and they're in the third round of the women's doubles. <laughs>